Hello friends. While working on one of the project for my client, they asked me to change the user management system that is available with Enterprise GIS portal. So I have completely redefined that and let me show you how it is working. So on the screen when you see this is a login page for Enterprise GIS portal. So let me first login uh, with admin credential in the old enterprise gis portal so when i click login it is opening up a user management like this so i can create a new user modify delete and reset the password for any user so i can create the user by providing user id username i can select the layer which i want user to display on his screen and then i can select the application which are to be allowed to the user so let me quickly create a user user11 i can give some name and then i can select the layer like i want to allow base layers admin layers and within the land base i want to allow building and road but i am not allowing city location layer for the application i am allowing viewing and querying but not editing so i have provided the inputs and now when i say add user is created successfully so this is how the user management was done Similarly, I can modify the user so I can select the existing user 11. I can uh, you know change the layer which I have authorized. Now I can provide city layers also. I can provide the applications or remove the applications and I can just click modify so it will be updated into the database. I can also delete the user and reset the password uh, as per the requirement. So this is how user management system was working. At the same time, which layer should appear? Uh, in this drop down uh, for layers and which application should appear in this drop down for applications it was all con controlled through some configuration file that was available as a part of the project so this is how it was working now i have completely changed it so now let us look at the new user management system so this is my new portal now when i am logging in into the system with the admin credentials this is how it looks like so here I can log out, earlier it was a different button. So now here admin user has logged in and here I can log out. And then on the left side I have users, roles, layers and configurations. So we'll start with configuration. So here I have to provide like on which IP or computer the Geo server has been installed, which port it has been installed, what is the workspace for data, what is the projection of my data and uh, Initially when I open up the map where the map should zoom what should be the initial zoom scale and what should be the maximum zoom scale So let me show you on the map. What is the impact of this configuration parameters? So I will just open up GIS portal and this time I am logging in with a super user So when I log in you can see uh, it is opening up with the initial zoom level We have defined here 4.5 and it is centering at this coordinate so it appears like this and here I have logged in with the super user so I can just log out from here. I have also added a title uh, to, to represent some company name and the logo. So this is what I have added additionally into this application. So I can provide this configuration and everything goes into the database. For any specific user they can change this parameter as per their requirement. So after configuration I have layers. So earlier if you see I was configuring layers as a part of this config file but now when we have advanced user management system I am creating layers like this. So I can just so you can see uh, I have already created 4 layers if any layer I want to create I will just press the create and here through user interface I can provide the layer internal name that is available as a part of Geo server any title which I want to show like here i want to show india state or india district road network so that's what i have to specify layer group which layer group it should participate so here land base layer or admin layer all those things i have to specify here in the layer group initially it should be visible or not minimum and maximum zoom scale whether it should participate in attribute query special query editing whether it is an image type layer or a base or a tile and whether it should participate in live search now what is live search you see over here 
here it is a live search so if i type something all the matching attributes and objects will be available and when i click on that map will zoom to that location so whether i want that layer to participate in that and which attribute it should search so like that i have to provide the inputs now let me show you one of the existing layer so i have provided these inputs this is a name coming from geo server layer title it is a part of admin boundary so india state is a part of admin boundary let me show you over here india state is a part of admin boundary and then it is visible zoom scale attribute spatial query edit aim i will give or false so it will not be available as a part of editing so when i click here and when i go to settings for editing it will not be available so when i click here you can see state layer is not available for the editing so that's what the role of this editing falls this is the image type of a layer it is available as a live search and then search attributes are state name so when i type anything here the search india state boundary participates in a search and state name will be search right so if i type something nagar then all the states which are having nagar in their name will be appearing here similarly i have also selected district layer for participating in live search so that's how it is done so this is a configuration for a layer so i can add as many layers uh, as per the requirement and they belong to particular group and now the important thing is sequencing like here if you see over here i have first admin boundary then land base with an admin i have state then district so this sequencing of layer it is done over here so you can see i am having state on top district road and city exactly matching with state district road and city so it is controlled over here so i can change the sequence you can see i can just pick up and drop my layers so sequencing will be changed i can change the sequence and once i refresh this thing it will be re refreshed so this is how easy it is so i can change the sequence of a layer so i just have to refresh this page and sequencing will change so this is how i define role the uh, layers now let us come back to roles roles is nothing but what applications and what role what layers will be available to this particular role so you can see i have defined administrator role analyst editor super user and viewer super user is having all the layers in all the application viewer is having all layer but viewing application only editor is having uh, all the layers along with viewing and editing application analyst is having all viewing and analysis application with all the layers so these are i have de prepared different uh, users i'll show you one of the super user let us say so it is a super user this is a description of the role and then i am having various application you can see i i have to assign the applications so earlier they were available over this part i can pick up and drop all this application which i want to assign to this super user kind of a role i can also similarly i can also provide the layers which uh, they should be able to access and then i have to save it so let me show you how i am creating this so let me just go back and create so i can just create any role say xyz role and it is i'll describe it xyz only now you can see i can select which function i want to give so i want to give home layers and measure button i want to give feature info but not attribute query digitize feature i don't want to give search and feature info only so i given that editing i don't want to give at all so i can customize so these are the only functions i am giving up and i am giving all the layers so this is how i have assigned and then cre create so role has been created successfully so i go back and now you can see xyz role is available so similarly i have created all other roles now i go to users so these were exactly i am creating the users users will have some roles roles will have some layers and application so when i am creating a user you can see i have created a viewer user super user editor user analyst user now let me create a xyz user xyz01 xyz user 01 so i am calling it xyz user 01 it is having a role of a xyz role you can see the role which we have created is now available here 
I have to provide the mobile number. I can provide any mobile number. And then I have to provide the email address. So this is the email address. Now I have created user. So it has been created successfully. So this is how I have simplified the user management through GUI. And now I just go back and log out of this system. And now I can log in with XYZ user which I have created with the providing the password. And then when I log in, you can see it is having all the layers which I have assigned to it. So here you can see it is having all the layers but limited functionality. So it is having search feature and then feature info and in tools it is having only measure. You can see so I have provided measure functionality, feature info and search. That's it. That's how we have configured there and accordingly it is appearing over here. If you want to see again let me show you. I will go inside with an administrator user and in the roles we can observe like what has been provided. We have provided feature info here, search functionality, measure home and layers button so this is what we have provided and accordingly it is having all those functionalities the xyz user it is having those limited functionality it has been controlled like that so if we go to the super user you can see super user is having all the layers all the applications so here super user is having all the buttons including editing within tools it has major digitize attribute map plot which was not available for the xyz user that we have created so this is how i have simplified uh, user management i have also as i said updated this user interface included company logo and name is login logout button i have changed earlier if you see uh, i used to have some different kind of a login logout button so let me just log in here in this whole system i was having this logout button but then i have changed it to, to look like this somewhat user friendly so this is uh, what modifications I have done. Next time what I will do is I will prepare a video covering all the functionalities and features of Enterprise GIS portal. I am calling it version 2.1. So next video will be on end-to-end uh, -end functionalities of Enterprise GIS portal 2.1. Thank you for watching. If you are looking for developing similar projects for your organization, let me know. Till that time, happy learning, happy coding. Thank you.